Okay, I'm Venu Belpu. I'm the Oracle DBA at Holland America. Our Oracle databases, um, they range from the size of 50 gig to almost 3 terabytes and uh, you know, we are total uh, storage space used for production environment is almost close to 6 terabytes and uh, the equal amount of space is used for our development test and QA environment so uh, this growth has been exponential for the past two years like initially uh, back in 2007 and 8 we were down like we had only you know our storage footprint was just 500 gig for Oracle database well, the nice thing that we saw with Delphix was, uh, you know, you can clone uh, clone the databases, uh, and it, and you know, basically, it's a virtual database out of your production environment. So uh, we we initially tested with a 250 gig small data warehouse database, uh, and the environments that we had out of production was development, test, QA, uh, and staging. So the 250 gig database was cloned to these four, uh, four environments and consumed one terabyte of space. After using Delphix for this environment, we reduced uh, storage space from one terabyte down to less than 25 megabytes. So that's for all the four environments. Uh, the other benefit we saw, uh, like besides sto uh, storage space savings, was uh, the cloning speed. So the cloning speed uh, with Delphix was significant because uh, like usually this 250 gig database, uh, you know, cloning, it usually takes about two hours. Uh, with Delphix, it was less than 10 minutes. So within like 25 minutes, we had all these four environments cloned up and running. The other benefit we saw was with the backups, managing the backups. Typically, Oracle backups are managed via Armin or hot backups, uh, you know, Armin, it's significantly uh, less space used than uh, hot backups, but Delphix uh, used even lesser space for uh, for the backups, and uh, you know the amount of space used for the backups was significantly lower because uh, it just maintains one copy of a full backup, and from that point, any full backup it is just uh, changes that have been made since the last full backup. Um, and also the interface that is, uh, you know, that we can use to restore all these backups. Uh, you know, it was it was really easy, and uh, you can select, uh, you know, to what time you want, uh, to what time or to what SCN number uh, you can. I uh, want the database to be restored, and you can select the host where you want the database to be restored, and with just one click of a mouse, everything is done. So there is no other. Uh, in you know, administrative tasks involved uh, as far as managing the backups and restoring. So it was really easy.